it's been about a year since you've been on. I know you've been busy with Lydia's Castle. Uh, last time we talked, you guys were, were, you had released an EP and you were deep into the, the writing of a, a new album. So I just want to check in. Uh, has there been more writing? Has there been recording? What can the Lydia's Castle fans expect? Yeah, uh, that's exactly what we've been doing, actually. Um, <clears throat> we are continuing to write. Um, we're kind of taking this time right now. It's just, uh, it just seems the landscape for new bands right now, it's really tough to break through. Um, so I think we're taking this time, and I think, I know, we're taking this time to, uh, just to, just to write as much as we possibly can. And, uh, uh, in fact, last night we got together and we had came up with three more ideas, man, but they weren't finished top to bottom, but they were just, uh, we're just gathering up riffs and ideas and things of that nature, um, to hopefully put together as a song as well. But um, yeah, we did, we did a little touring as well. Uh, went out with us Saving Abel for a little bit and um, we did some shows of our own as well. Um, uh, some local, you know, local up and coming rock bands, you could say. We've, you know, done some shows with and, uh, you know, we, we, we've been uh, perceived pretty well so far. So hopefully this new stuff will, uh, will do the same thing. So I, I've been a fan of Saving Abel since they got big with their, their song Addicted, which was like a global smash. This is back in like 2008. Uh, you were still in Stained back then. Is that how you know the band? Is that how you guys connected for these shows? Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I remember them a little bit uh, from back in the day. However, uh, they live in Nashville too now. So, um, and Dave, who is their new drummer, I've known him before he was with saving Abel, and uh <clears throat> and so anyway i'm glad I'm, i was real happy for him when he ended up getting a gig for that but uh yeah i um i run into those guys every now and again and um they're out doing the same thing you know just pounding the pavement and uh you know they have a new one out as well too um so i yeah go check that out it's good and and you know they're they've always been a really good solid band as well i i agree with you on that for sure um but yeah no, super nice guys but yeah i'd say the connection as far as myself and them is is um getting to know them a little bit more since they uh we both live in the same city yeah and I, I saw that you guys recently announced some upcoming shows. I believe it's in August. You have uh, at least a couple shows coming up. What can fans expect if they can physically make it out to those shows? Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot more to come to. Um, those are just a few that um, those particular venues wanted us to release early. So we did. Um, and that's actually going back home for me. Um, that, those are my old stomping grounds as far as uh, where, you know, Stain came up. Uh, and uh, that, you know, the New England area. Um, so it'll be, it'll be really fun. It'll be nice to see uh, some people I haven't seen in a while. And um, yeah, looking, looking forward to that stuff. And, uh, but we do have more coming up uh, that we have not announced yet. So you, you mentioned that you knew the uh, you knew the drummer from Saving Abel from before that time. Uh, I saw you recently post a picture with a couple drummers. One of them is Paul Crosby, the former drummer from Saliva. Uh, how do you know him? Is this back to again the Saliva and Stain days? Yes, it's uh, yeah, that is definitely. Um, uh, you know, living in Nashville too, you you run into uh, a lot of people that you have some memories with too. And uh, Paul's, me and Paul have always gotten along real well. He's such a good guy. And, uh, you know, he's doing his own thing right now. He's got his own band going and uh, he's got a management company. Um, so he's doing, he's doing well. He's doing well. But it was great to see Paul in that picture. We had, we had a nice big dinner with uh, some of his guys and his wife and same. So it, it was great. It was great. Good to see him. 
Is there like a special bond between drummers where you just kind of understand each other more than most people where, you know, most people don't know <laughs> what it's like to, to, to be the drummer, to do all the practicing, to lug all the gear, this, the, the struggles that come with drumming. Uh, do you feel instantly if you meet someone and they're a drummer and you're a drummer, it's like, this is my dude. We're good. Yeah. You know, it's, it's kind of always been like that. It seems, I mean, there is definitely a certain bond, like you were saying, uh, that we do have, um, <clears throat> and there's a respect factor as well. Uh, we all play a little bit differently, but we all like the same kind of thing, you know, but uh, it's a lot easier to talk shop with, uh, with uh, drummers um, as opposed to other <laughs> uh, players. Especially if you're talking specific drum technique and terminology the, yes. the guitarists just don't get it you know yeah well you know they have their own lingo too <laughs> so, yeah. that's true that's true so as we wrap up with the lydia's castle stuff uh, mm -hmm. what what can fans expect from the new music it, it is are you looking at a, a uh just a few singles an ep a full length uh, any idea well you know that's uh, something we've been bouncing around so that's a a, a good question um you know, the EP thing, it's, it's really tough to say, Joel. I mean, I, I, I would, it seems like a lot of bands, new bands like us um, are kind of released, really, they're going single by single, um, you know, just to kind of see what hits, you know what I mean? So um, I can't give you a solid answer on that right now, but I know we have the songs for more than an EP right now. Um, so, but I think we, we, might, we might start with the just releasing of singles and then, you know, maybe at some point we'll, we'll do, a, do a full length or EP.